glad you're with us on this Thursday edition of Take 5 of the Journey and uh, glad you're with us today and just want to say to you come celebrate with us this coming weekend uh, on Sunday we're celebrating two years right here at the Journey and so I, I just want to encourage you to uh, come and celebrate with us yesterday I shared the scripture I want to go on a little bit deeper on this on 1st Timothy 2 verse um, 8 it says, I would therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. You know, uh, that lifting up of hands sometimes really, a lot of people don't like it. They'll say, you know what, uh, there's no, I, I, I'm humble on the inside. I never need to kneel. Um, I, I feel I worship God in the inside, but I don't feel like I have to lift my hands. You know, a lot of the church, a lot of the modern church has been reduced down to a couple of things. Number one, intellect. It's people try to do it with their mind all the time. I believe in common sense. I believe in having a renewed mind. And it's, and, and then the, the, the second thing is this feelings. Uh, I, I don't feel like I need to do this. I don't, I, feelings, your, your emotions. The Bible says we're led by our spirit not by our feelings or nor by our intellect. You know what, there's times that God would just tell me to do something, physically give more money. And when the, when I gave that money, it opened up things. You know what, the Lord speak to me about going on a fast. I would do that. And you know what, it don't make a lot of sense. But maybe I didn't feel like it. I didn't really, my body didn't want to do it. You know. Immediately when you say you're gonna fast, you get hungry. I don't know about you, I, I instantly get hungry. I think about food all over the place. But, you know, you gotta be led by your spirit. And right here it says to Timothy, lift up your hands, pray. You know, we could say kneel. We, we could say clap your hands. You know, it's a physical thing. And so much of the time, we're not seeing the full power of God because we will not allow ourselves to really engage in something in physical obedience. It's been those times that I've physically obeyed God that great power has been released in my life. I want to encourage you. I want you to say to yourself this day, God is a good God and the devil is a bad devil. 